Hey guys, it's Tony, and you know what? I love Goodwill finds almost as much as I love the Dollar Tree. So when I heard about Hillary's of my so-called homes $5 Goodwill challenge, I had to be in on it. Now the challenge was to take some items from Goodwill, $5 worth, and decorate your home for fall. When I think of fall, I think about Thanksgiving because I love to cook. That's my favorite holiday. I actually have over 50 people every year for Thanksgiving, so I start preparing pretty early. So what I'm going to do is make something to help serve my guests and to make my home beautiful. So wait till you see what I come up with. Now when I was at Goodwill, I got really excited when I saw this. It looks like the stand for a chafing dish. I always wanted to get a nice set of chafing dishes, but now I think maybe I'll try to make my own. So I picked up a few more pieces and I headed home. Where I remembered I had just bought these very shiny stainless steel bowls. I got these from the Asian farmer's market the other day when my husband surprised me and told me that he was bringing home friends for dinner. I didn't have time to cook so I ordered Thai and I didn't want to serve the food in the Thai takeout containers so I went down the street to the farmer's market and picked up these nice bowls to serve the food in. As you can see this will work out really perfect because it has a flat bottom and the rim is pretty flat so I can sit one on top of the other and have a top and a bottom. At Goodwill, I also found a bag of silver napkin ring holders, which I thought would be perfect for a handle on top. This bag was $2 for six of them. And the bottom part of the chafer was $3.53. So for a little over $5 from Goodwill, I have my pieces to make my chafing dish. So using my Gorilla Glue epoxy, I attached the chafer bottom to the bottom of the pan and the silver napkin ring holder to the pan that I'm using for the top. Now since I want to make a lot more of these, I realize the possibilities are endless. I can use these brass candlestick holders as a stand. And this brass candle holder as a handle on the top. Or maybe a cabinet knob. Or how about beautiful crystal candle holders as handle tops and at the bottom as stands. By the way, all these pieces I got from Goatwheel. And like I mentioned, the bows I got from the Asian Farmers Market, the large ones were $5 each. And they hold the same amount of food as a 9 by 12 size pan. So you could put a little hot water in the bottom of the pan and put the same size pan with your food in it right on top. Or you could put your food in a slightly smaller size bowl that'll fit just perfect inside. I would use a heat and fuel holder with a cover to keep the flames down low. Boy, I just can't wait until Thanksgiving to serve my guests with these beautiful serving dishes that I made myself. 